This is a gigantic 3D printed rocket and it was printed on a new insanely big Chidi X Max 3. And today we're going to be finding out what this giant printer can do and if it can win over this Bamboo Lab fanboy. But first, we always like to start our reviews with a genuine first impressions out the box and first print. And you're about to witness some mixed emotion. <gasps> it's a hot end. Right, let's get rid of that. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh. I mean, that is big, isn't it? Whatever all this is. Um, it's quite big in here, to be fair. Ah! I mean, look at the size of that. That is, well, hold on, let me grab this um, unbranded build plate here and compare them. <laughs> look at the size of that. There's some serious prints going on there. Oh God, that was close to the older. Uh, watch him a flipper. What do you think of the looks of it? I think it's quite nice. I actually, I really, I think it's a really smart looking thing. I'm not sold on this. I mean, it's fine, it works, it's operational. Preheat hotbed to the filament printing temperature before leveling 60, I can't do, I can't do 60 apparently. That is gonna play all sorts of havoc with my OCD. Adjust the platform height with the up and down buttons on the right hand side. Make sure the nozzle and build plate are touching the leveling paper until you feel friction when you move the leveling paper between them. There's a bit of friction there, I'm happy with that. I don't want to be doing you very often. This is a really good point. Spool holder on the back, right? Which means I've got to turn this thing around again. And this isn't the only company to do this. This is most fast printers now. Why do you put filament spool holders on the back of the printer? No one has their printer facing backwards. Right, so in here, we've got this chapstick, printer chapstick, which obviously I'm assuming goes on its lips around here. Should be nice for it, keep it from getting dry. Um, we've got some 3D printer filament, but no actual idea what filament that is. It's generic filament. I would assume PLA, <laughs> maybe. This is exhibit number one of what I mean by my filament rant earlier. Um, have a look in there, is it extruding? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It's jammed. <laughs> so that is actually surprisingly easy to take out. Really easy to take out. It's literally front cover off, drop, hot end, extruder. Ah! Go. So, something that must have been left in testing, I guess. Big, juicy lump of melted filament. When it comes to printer maintenance, you could call me lazy, but that really caters for my laziness. So, Benchy, 17 minutes to do a Benchy. Now, I'm gonna skirt over that first Benchy print a bit because that file is pre-sliced to be done at ridiculous speeds, which I am never going to print at. But when we do get a new printer these days, we started doing what we call a speedboat test. So we put a Benchy to print at the default slicer settings on our current printers, including the new Chidi one, which shows us what sort of standard we can expect and at what speed. And putting it up against our dialed in Prusa and bamboo means we can see how much work is needed. Which, in this case, isn't really anything at all. And a little secret is this actually printed a few minutes quicker than on the bamboo lab. Oh, and I've only got two benches here because obviously the Prusa is still printing. 
So we've covered all the basics. Yes, it prints, yes, it prints well, and yes, it prints fast, which is all kind of expected these days. But what has the XMAX 3 got which others don't have? Well, for starters, it's got that gigantic build volume. It's also got a temperature control chamber, a hardened steel nozzle, 350 degrees max hot end temperature, 120 degrees max bed temperature, and a hardened steel linear axis, which apparently all will require no regular maintenance. So with all that gear, it should be perfect for massive prints and the most difficult to print filaments. And as far as printing big is concerned, we maxed out the build volume for our rocket design and it just printed it. There's not much more to say really. Other than it came out great and it printed this size in the time it took my Prusa to print this. But can it reliably print the strongest filaments like ASA? Well, luckily we needed to print a new spring in ASA for our print button and this is a fairly challenging print so it will be a great test. So we loaded up the standard slicer settings for ABS and heated the chamber to 50 degrees and the results were flawless and it still looks so so cool with these organic supports on. Oh and while we're talking about the organic supports, these are the same as you get in Prusa Slicer and that's because Chidi are basically running on the same slicer software which I really like. And it was a really smart move by Chidi to use a proven slicer software. The slicer does also have fluid built into it, which means you can send your prints remotely via Wi-Fi, which to me is a really good addition because I just love convenience. Right, it's probably a good time to let you know that before we got this printer, I'll be honest, we weren't expecting to be sold by it at all. And the blockage we had when unboxing it or the layer shift on a big print we had at the beginning didn't help that. But, and this is a big but. The blockage was super easy to fix thanks to the easy access on the extruder and when I reached out to Chidi technicians about the layer shift they were ridiculously on the ball. Like I'm talking got back to us minutes later they helped us with firmware update and a software update and we've had flawless prints ever since. So the big big question has the Chidi X Max 3 won us over? Uh yeah. We are really enjoying printing with it now and it has made us able to print huge prints and print in all those difficult materials with so much ease and speed. Which means we can now do projects which we never would have been able to do before. For example, we're currently printing a TPU ball which is already looking amazing and these were just standard slicer settings. There are still some bits that I'd love to see added to the x -Map like a chamber camera for monitoring, and I really want them to do something about that filament loading system. It's just not easy enough. And hopefully Chidi will be coming up with upgrades soon. But for now, if you're looking for a huge, fast printer that can deal with any materials that you're gonna throw at it, you definitely need to consider this one because other than the Prusa XL, there isn't much out there at this size. We have some really cool projects coming up where the x -Max 3 is gonna be pushed to its absolute limits. So make sure you subscribe because we think you're going to love them.